All right, hunters. So, you've got your California. Mm, hold on. I'm eating real quick. You can eat while in a podcast, whatever. Yo, where is it? I'm professional. I'm professional. <laughs> Kirill, are we live? All right. we're yeah, live. we're live. All right, guys, welcome back to episode two of the Knowledge Drop series with the tried and true. Last episode, we talked about you getting a hunting license, and now that you've got this bad boy in your hands, this lets you go out and uh, put some critters in the dirt, basically. And today, we're talking specifically about ducks. Yep, so, duck hunting. It's probably one of the funnest, the funner, best, the best funny, type funny, of hunting. Funnestest. T -t 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 Today, Junior! It's really, really fun. Kale, is funnest a word? No, funnest No, it's not. Fun. How do you say funnest in plural? The most fun. The most, more better. Because it's, uh, it's very, it's very active. So you go out, the ducks, they keep flying, there's geese, there's all kinds of hunters around you, everybody's, it's a great time. Trying to kill time. you. Just kidding. Yeah, you're sitting out in the water, in the weeds, it's, it's a great time. So, but before you can get there, there's a lot of steps, hurdles you have to jump through in the state of California to go get yourself some ducks. Step number one that you need after you got your license is an add-on to the license. So the license itself just lets you go out and hunt. But to go hunt a duck, you need a California duck validation. So it's an add-on, which looks like that. It looks just like a license, but it's got different things on it. Okay, yo, can you throw it up on the screen so that people see? So it's called a California duck validation. And it usually comes with the HIP validation, which you need as well. If it doesn't, which it, it did for me, so I don't know why it wouldn't. But if it doesn't, make sure you're, and make sure you tell them that you need that as well. But the HIP is free, so it doesn't cost anything. So it should should come with your California duck validation, and that could be bought anywhere, same as you buy your license. So after you got your California duck validation, you need a federal duck stamp. <laughs> federal duck stamp, you can get any post office. Any post office. It's literally a stamp. Yeah. So it looks like that. Every year it changes. So it's like a like a competition in the United States. Artists draw a duck, they submit it. Is it Whoever really? wins, yeah. Huh. yeah. It's and it says it says on it. Wood duck and then I don't know that. Yeah, so it, people collect them. Yeah, it's collectible. It changes every year, so that's cool. But it's literally like a stamp. You put it on the back, on the back of your California. <laughs> Kirill, what the heck? <laughs> Cut. If you're at the, if you're at like Sportsman's or Bass Pro, just get it all at once. They sell yeah. them there too. Yeah, so, so you don't have to go drive around the, back and forth. The bigger sports stores like Bass Pro will have everything so you get yourself a little federal duck stamp you put it on the back of your California duck validation and then you sign it so you literally just sign your signature on the stamp and then the last but not least you need a wildlife pass and it's gonna be either type A or type B and that's that's if you're going to a refuge, if you're going to public land like a crazy man, um, you don't need one. But you don't even, I mean, if you're going to any refuge, you need a type A wildlife pass or a B. So after you have those things, if you're going to a uh, refuge like SAC, Wildlife Refuge or Calusa or Delavan here up north, um, you need a type A wildlife pass. Um, well, what, what's a refuge? A refuge is basically an area that is protected kind of like a it's it's like a conservation conservation area conservation basically it's an area, area where a bunch of ducks 
it's a bunch of rice fields, a bunch of fields where ducks are constantly flying there. There's a, there's a no shoot zone. There's tons of geese over there, tons of duck, um, lots of people bird watch there, you know. It's just like a wildlife area. So um, basically what these passes do, they the money goes towards conserving that area. There's a bunch of clubs like Ducks Unlimited and stuff that help preserve these areas. But a refuge is specifically you go there and you d hunt duck. They do have like pheasant hunts and stuff, but it's mostly it's duck. Um, and to get into, their, in, into these refuges, uh, you need a type A. Up here in Northern California, you need a Type A wildlife pass. They range, I don't, the prices range a lot, um, but the cheapest way to do it is obviously get a season pass. Because if you're going to be going to ref, I regret it. I, I Every year I regret not getting a season pass because I'm like, <laughs> oh, it's a hundred plus dollars. But I ended up spending way more on type, you know, on a one day or two day pass. So suggestion, get a, a season pass if you're going to be going to ducks a lot. All right, thanks for watching. If you guys have any other questions at all about anything about literally anything put it in the comments we will answer them again duck hunting is definitely one of the best hunting you can do it's very fun especially with your friends so go out there and go get some ducks catch you on the next later <laughs> 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 <laughs>